DC Sports from the CompCare Physical Therapy Sports Wall. What's going on, sports fans? I'm Mark Paulos. Tonight we have high school basketball, hockey, volleyball, and junior college hoops on the sports wall. But we start tonight's sportscast with a crosstown rivalry showdown on the harbor where Mayo and John Marshall played some basketball. We're going to start on the boys' side. Mayo played host to JM. The Rockets opened their season with this crosstown rivalry matchup. Second half, game tied at 44. JM's Johnny Tong feed it to Tierra Young who gives it right back, JM up two. A few moments later, more Rockets. This time, Logan Tuckner finds Young, who drills a three ball. Rockets up two, but Mayo was undeterred. LeBron Seastadstad finds Isaiah Hansen. That is Buckets. Mayo back up one, then later, check this out, Hansen cuts back door. Nobody's home, easy layup. Spartans up 52-51. With less than two minutes to go, final minute, JM down four, Tuckner gets the ball top of the key, drills the three ball from Willow Creek Middle School. In final seconds, game tied at 56, Tuckner's second free throw hits front iron. Hansen goes the other way, trying to get a bucket, final seconds, drives, gets it to go as time expires. He had a game high 28 points, Mayo beats JM at the buzzer, the Spartans top the Rockets 58. 56. Next, we head to the girls' side. The Spartans look to pick up their fourth win in their first five games when they took on JM in the girls' matchup. First half, take a look at this play. Mayo's Ava Miller comes up with the block. She finds Hannah Hansen, who Euro steps to a layup. Mayo up seven. Still in the half, Mayo turns defense into offense again. This time, Kaya Kirkaby finds Hansen on the break as Mayo started to pull away. A few moments later, more Mayo. Lauren Brady finds Vicky Marial. Gets the bucket down low, too strong, but JM didn't want to go away quietly. Later, Kate Novak open in the corner. Her three ball, nothing but the bottom, but it would not be enough. Later, Hansen is going to find Miller in the post as Mayo beats John Marshall 60 to 40. Now to the ice we go for a crosstown rivalry. Century JM taking on the Mayo Spartans. First period, Mayo getting shots off Andrea Augustin out front, but a great save from Abigail Connors keeps the game scoreless. Spartans kept attacking, puck out to L. Roth, fires from downtown, lights the lamp. What a shot! Mayo goes in front, 1 0. Later, Century tries to tie things up. One shot blocked, but puck still loose. The Panthers get some looks, but Grace Cober is a brick wall. Look at that. This one went to overtime. Century JM ends up winning it two to one. Now from the, uh, excuse me, now staying back to basketball, Century taking on the Owatonna Huskies. We'll pick it up in the first half. We start off with a spin move by Owatonna's Colin Vick to get open for the lay and Century takes a two point lead, but Century answers, answers back by Tate Diedrich making a one handed jumper widening Century lead. Panthers up three. Huskies staying in the fight. Blake Burmeister Fades, splashes into the bucket, cuts into the deficit, but Century would respond. Take a look, Sean Wysocki finishes strong, making it a five-point lead. Owatonna kept plucking away, though. Kick out to Riley Kleberger. The triple is cash. Deficit down to eight, but the Panthers had more than offense. Wysocki says not today on this one, protecting the Century lead that had grown to 11. Century beats Owatonna 65-48. to now to junior college basketball, the RCTC women are the number one team in the NJCAA Division III basketball pool. RCTC has been nothing short of phenomenal this season through eight games. The Jackets lead the nation in scoring at 95.6 points per game. They are also fourth in field goal percentage, shooting 48% from the field. Lewis and Altura alum Maya Ruzek ranks third in the country in scoring. She averages 23 points per game. The Jackets are back in action on Saturday when they take on Joliet Junior College at the Anoka Classic. On the men's side, the RCTC men fall from number five to number nine in the latest NJCAA Division III poll. The Jackets are coming off a one and one week in which they lost to Vermillion but beat Masabi Range. The RCTC men are now seven and two on the season. They also return to action on Saturday when they take on Joliet at the DCTC Classic.
Lastly, the high school volleyball Cannon Falls head coach Melissa Huseth earned two big time honors today. Huseth was named the Minnesota Volleyball Coaches Association Coach of the Year. She was also named the American Volleyball Coaches Association's Region Coach of the Year. Huseth led the Bombers to the Class 2A state championship, which was their first volleyball state title in school history. Cannon Falls finished the season with a 29-7 overall record. That's good sports here on this Tuesday night. We'll be back after this.